that's the one I needed. Scrap all of these teen times. What's up guys? How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to another exciting comic book haul. This is episode number 170. We're gonna start things off with half price books, all right? So you see clearance item right here for these cents. This is Action Comics Annual number two back in 1989, featuring the first appearance of Eradicator. Now we're gonna get to this uh, big haul of New Titans goodies. I think all of these are, um, hmm, I think these are 25 cents because this is a different location. I believe this is a Redmond location, high price books. All right, so you see New Titans number 14 right here. I cleaned it off real good, you know, because they were fresh price stickers, easier to remove. So the newer the price stickers are, the easier they are to remove. See, this was only two days ago. This featuring the origin of Doom Patrol, yes, in the first team appearance of the new Brotherhood of Evil. Here we have number 15. A lot of words going on. I think that was what's popular back in the 80s, you know, all these words, bubbles, trying to get you to be enticed, you know, read it. Once you read it, you want to be intrigued. Actually, that's a pretty good gimmick right there. Probably an 80s gimmick. I don't do it as often now, but this features. Death of Madame Rogue and General Zal. Number 21. It's the first appearance of Brother Blood, Matthew Mayhem, and Baron Winters. Also the first cameo of the Monitors. Here's number 22. Bright yellow cover right there. I call him Brother Blood. So this is the first cameo of Blackfire. Sister of Starfire. Hey, what about Brother Blood though? Well, I guess I guess this is his first full appearance. All right. This is a minor key I've been wanting in my collection. As you can see, that Starfire, that must be her sister. Her name is Blackfire. All right. So this is the first cover and full appearance of Blackfire. And also featuring the first appearance of Adrian Chase, later becomes Vigilante. Blackfire is uh, already appearing in the new Titans. Well, I don't know what season it is. I'm not following it. But those of you who are, you know that's this is the issue to get. 14 Titans Goodness is issue number 25. Featuring a 16-page mini preview of Masters of the Universe. Uh, you, we all know first appearance are hard to find and it's expensive so this preview can be the next best thing so for you key collectors this is one to hunt for here's number 26 featuring the first appearance of Terra number 32 first appearance and origin of thunder and lightning I think those two are right there um, lightning thunder or even says it down here all right, here's number 35. First Camry of Vigilante. Uh, we all know what if is going to be in the upcoming series or maybe standalone movies. So what if Spider-Man has kept his six arms? Pretty good story. Kind of like a tribute to uh, iconic cover, right? From uh, I think it was Web of Spider-Man or whatever it was. Here's a quest drove featuring Spider-Man. Uh, and also Mysterio, back in the 80s, another 80s goodness, 1984. Yeah, so here's 2099, limited number one, featuring the first appearance of Hulk 2099. Here we have a Marvel comic presents number 118. You see on the cover is Wolverine, Venom, Sam Keith Art. Definitely a top, in my opinion, in my books, probably a top. Uh, 25 artist, dreamy kind. I think he was famous uh, when he first started making Sandman comics, drawing for uh, Neil Gaiman. So this is Mark Presents 118, preview of Doom 2099. Man, I've been wanting this. Finally have it. Lots 
most part. It was 25 cents. Like, Kimmy beat Superman number four. First appearance of Bless Bar. We all know he's going to appear in the upcoming Suicide 2 movie directed by James Gunn. I'm excited for it. He it's going to be very good. James Gunn's going to make it DC's version of Guardians of the Galaxy. Can't wait for it. And also, the featuring is the first appearance of Maggie Sawyer, uh, DC's first openly gay female character. So, yeah, so we have a couple keys in that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you don't see these too often. Uh, 25 cents, I think I got this for 25 cents, I don't remember. So, this is number 18, is it? Yeah, second print, but this is second print though. So, we have Taskmaster number here. First of all, you see that logo. Uh, new character, Taegaki, first uh, South Korean superhero, looks like a Pepsi. But I, this is the first cover appearance of Taegaki though, so it's the second printing. With three extra swords number uh, six, this is the first appearance of Solom. Solom is supposed to be a major villain character who is going to be in a lot of... Um, Wolverine comics on the MCU and right here Check it out pretty badass right all these uh, blades and katana Trying to kill even the size trying to kill Wolverine, but he just won't go down What if starring spider-man number 88 I think Arachnev Morphosis um, so this is the first uh, Appearance of Benjamin Parker alternate reality where Peter's son is a mutant it's a pretty interesting read too Amazing Spider-Man number 512. I believe this is a controversial issue. First Grey Goblin controversial issue where uh, the two major characters had an affair and produced an offspring. So a low-key controversial issue. Talks about affairs and cheating, I guess. This is a badass cover right there. When I first bought this, I searched on eBay, I think people are trying to sell this for like $20 or so. It's a really badass cover. We have the first cover uh, between these two characters, Aliens versus Venom. The art is fantastic too. And it's a variant cover. See the Alien versus Alien variant cover? Ryan Brown, big shout out to him. Badass cover. Love it. If you guys love and collect covers, that's the one to go for. And especially if you're a Venom or Aliens fan. Here we have... I mean, uh, Superman and your number 11. This is the um, written by Alan Moore, art by Dave Gibbons, same creative team as The Watchmen, featuring the first appearance of Black uh, Mercy Plant. Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, first team up when they first met. What's that? Look at all these Batman. Oh, wow. It's like the fifth printing. Oh, seriously, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw all these Batman 80s goodness. Batman comics for 25 cents. I always hunt those clearance sections. So here's Batman Annual number 10. There's no key significance to this, but it's just one of those earlier issues that Batman fans need to get, especially with 25 cents. Here's Batman Annual 11. Uh, this is written by Alan Moore, 409, Origin of Jason Todd. Here's 410, Origin of Two-Face. Here's 412, first appearance of Mime, who later turns into, what's her face? Punchline, how can I forget her name? Here's number 416. First meeting of Dick Grayson and Jason Todd, Nightwing and uh, the second Robin, I think. Here's Batman number 86 from the 2016 series. Uh, this is the first appearance of Mr. Teeth and Gunsmith. 
Here's some variant cover goodness. Batman number 90 with the Riddler on the cover. Francesco Mazzini uh, variant. First four pairings of the designer. It's number 103. Featuring new character, Battle of Batman vs. Ghostmaker and uh, Harley Quinn vs. Clown Hunter. So we got a whole bunch of action going on in this issue. Ah, look at this. This is his first print. Yeah, this is definitely a key issue. You guys know what key issues are, especially with Batman. So this is a Hell Risen number three. The, this is the third print though. That's why it's all gray and different looking. First full appearance of Punchline. Yeah, I totally couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this cover, guys. First of all, I knew it was a special one because I have the regular issue. It's all uh, filled out without this blue border. So this happens to be Detective Batman Detective Comics number one. The sixth printing, there are only 3,334 copies that was printed. were printed. First cameo of the Dollmaker. Here's Batman number two from uh, New 52, 2011 series. First appearance of Talon, William Cobb. And lastly... Kabam! Comic seller since we reopened for buying. It's been it's been rough going for a lot of those. It's been wow. like sixty years. Yeah, yeah and all the supernatural is really what my stuff is too. Yeah. Batman number one, volume two, back in twenty eleven. When new fifty two when DC was producing fifty two number ones, all that gimmick and stuff. This is the first cameo of Harper Row. Another fantastic comic book haul. I paid a little bit of change for it, you know. 25 cents clearance items. You can't get better than that. It's like winning the lottery. Hope you guys enjoyed this comic book haul. As always, happy hunting out there.